the game, and you have to wonder, will that aggression be taken into the jungle? Likely so, because again, between the uh, Akai and the Martis, Lafal, I'm not sure if this is what you're referring to, but it's usually still the Akai's call yeah. that ult overrides whatever Martis is doing. Yeah. And right now, we're going straight into the first game of the day between RSGSG and Occupy Thrones. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on Maro. It's the way that this Kadita will behave that will allow Occupy Thrones to, I don't know, beat their inner demons of becoming a late game team and eventually taking form here at M4. Ooh, the early game is going to be slow as usual, but we have to see where our both jungle is going to pass towards because that will decide how it's going to happen. And of course, the mid lane control wow. is going to be contested from both these players, both these teams, to try and ensure that they have the first move, the first rotation in the game. Uh, fast clear here uh, for Fury and Maro, but what will the rotation be? Folks, confirmed it is a jungle Martis and then Diablo and the Frederick in the XP. Oh, this is about to blow up. Oh, but look at a lot of them actually getting crowd control. Diablo goes in and Maru taking a bit of damage, but I kind of feel like this is the direction that both teams want to go. Control the mid, control the riverside, because you want some kind of advantage going into the turtle fight. Well, we have to see. I mean, both teams, they're trying their best to actually get a lead first, because before the turtle actually spawns later on, they can use that to try and get a bit of a play, a bit of a lead in numbers and HP bars, and that is what will allow them to get a very guaranteed objective take. So far, about a minute and a half in, and we are still at 50-50, equilibrium gold. Very little difference here. 150, 30 between each. And even the maximum matchup, look at this, Arashi. It, it's still Gado and Baby Cakes waiting for that big rotation. Usually you see that the Beatrix has a bit of an edge in the laning phase, but again, it's always a skill matchup. As you can see, Ogre is going for a big play, but Lolzy is forced to use that flicker defensively. That will mean that it won't be up for the play in the turtle coming up now in nine seconds. For me personally, that was super necessary because that was a very, very good catch. But right now, Leo, I, I kind of feel like he already showed his face. And Diablo right now attacking Leo. Leo is going very, very Whoa. low. And first blood onto Bray. The Decimate doing work. That's a lot of damage, and uh, unexpectedly, RSG are the ones aggressing. And now, with the members' advantage, their achievers are kind of low, so they're taking it a bit slow. And right now, it just seems like the patience we've been talking about is showing again for RSG. Yep, RSG just knows how this dance goes. And the, the, the clapback from Occupy Thrones is Maro doing his best to keep things under control. He's trying to reset or hold back a turtle so that RSG doesn't convert as quick. I wonder if they can still catch up because look, purple for Leo, can they stop Bray? Ooh, Maro goes in with the rough wave as well though. The Rune collision is being used by the side of RSG, but the turtle will be picked up by Bray. Right now, oh, they're trying their best, but that will be RSG taking out two members from the side of Occupy Thrones and Bray is still not letting Leo off. That will be a very decisive fight for RSG. Yeah, it's, it's kind of unfortunate because Hulk, he actually went in, but there was hesitation. He could have caught anyone, but he was like, I don't know which target I want, I want to focus on. And then he was heavily punished. Now, I like teams with aggression, but actually I like how RSG is playing this. It looks like they understand. They don't have to put their foot on the metal. It's like, we can take it slightly slow because yeah. we know that Occupy will be the one to engage. It's we just wait. It's controlled aggression, but will they catch Baby Cakes up top? Ooh, the snipe barely misses Baby Cakes. He is able to escape. Purify has been used, so... The members of Occupy Thrones can look for a bit of follow-up. For now, it won't be happening. No harm, no foul. As long as Baby Cakes is not dying, these early game purifies are worth it. Yeah, but right now it looks like Occupy Thrones, they're, they're, they're kind of like trying to set something up here at, at, the, at the Marksman lane. And R they're, they're kind of like taking it very slow because RG is already here and Lozi tries to engage. Looks like both teams are waiting for a sign of weakness from each other. Oh, 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 baby Cakes! Maro goes in with that rough waves and the Petrify as well, but Baby Cakes is still able to survive. Definitely not the outcome that Occupy Thrones want. All right, folks, real quick, that is not attack and defense that our tanks are rocking. That's actually concussive blast. It's just like a blast in the past, you know? Like, some people really miss the design of attack and defense. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys, but we, we gotta move forward. You just like how it looks like. I just like how it looks. And right now, RSG, it looks like they have a 1.4 goal lead. Baby Cakes just finishes Demon Hunter Sword. And the thing about Claude is, in the test servers, he was too strong that they had to nerf him. So I'm really looking forward to see how RSG is gonna execute on this. And it Ooh. looks like a kick is going to happen. Oh. Diablo gets engaged on, but now he is alone. He is actually holding his ground against two members from Occupy Thrones. And that will be a lot of resources burnt before the turtle is even up. Again, you see here that 
either hesitation or a communication gap between them because Mara was so far off. Exactly, yeah. It looked like it was a prime opportunity to get a punish, and Leo is taking a lot of damage, Leo. Diablo goes in with the Aprina's Wrath, but now it does seem like Occupy Thrones will be forced to back away from the turtle. Oh, you meant me, but still, I'm sorry. that's about 100% turtle take rate for RSG. They are in control of the map. And again, Occupy Thrones, they tried in the draft to show us that, hey, we're not that late game team anymore, but they seem like they're out of their element. In my personal opinion, they got to they gotta talk to each other because right now it's like everyone has their own plan of doing what it, what, what was going to happen next, but no one's really on the same page. And going up against RSG, that's not what you want to see. If they are comfortable in the late game, then try to farm up as much as you can. Wait for seven minutes. Try to see if you can fight the Lord. And if you can't fight, then find some kind of farm because looking at the items here, Beatrice is starting off with a Corrosion side, which is kind of odd because usually we see the Blade of Despair first. You yeah. see a bit of a duo in the AXP lane, though. The fighting game down there. Exactly. But Lozi has been very active in just making sure that his team has some vision, has some security, and that allows Baby Cakes to be farming really well. But now he might just pay the price. Well, it's being used at the Blazing Duet. It's being used by Baby Cakes to try and oh! turn back the aggression. He's getting very, very low. But 505 with the real manipulation, barely out of range, though. Members from Occupy Thrones just trying to survive under the turret, trying to oh! find shelter. That will be the Dawning Light being used onto Bray as RSG are trying to make sure that they seal the deal, oh, but they won't be low. able to. Everyone's so, so low, but they're able to escape. Oh, Lord. The Fury literally at 1 HP. 1 HP, Grandma, and he's about to go home, and they're not letting go. 405! Wow. He, he was like, I'm not letting you guys through. I see all of the small HPs going around. Grandma is like, no, no, no. You're not going home. If you're going home, I'm sending you home. 505, Lozi goes in. Ooh, no one must be used as well, but Gato will be taken out without any issue. Maro tries to turn back the aggression. Unfortunately, he is the one caught right now in the real world manipulation. Rosu is being used to escape from this death trap between three members. It does seem like actually it doesn't oh, yeah. turn around. 505 gets taken out because Leo comes in with the heavy spin. And that will be Occupy Thrones finding some success. It looks like RSG, they overstayed their welcome because Leo had so much time to rotate to that lane and actually make a difference. RSG right now have a very, very good turn for themselves because it's 2.6k. They have a lot of mad pressure. Right now, they just don't make mistakes because Baby Cakes, I would say right now, he can join the fight. He has a lot of damage. RSG, they can take advantage of Occupy Thrones being a little bit behind. 2.4k, that's a lot. Yeah, right there. That's how you see it, right? Baby Cakes goes in with the uh, BMI and threatening God. Oh no, God is in trouble. He's very, very low. The new does not land on him, but the Blazing Duet will secure his fate. And on the other side, oh. that is also RSG putting the trigger. Diablo picking up a kill on tomorrow as well. Occupy Thrones. They're just getting caught in these weird fights. Yeah, three different battlefields. The turtle near the jungle and then that gold lane. All losses for Occupy Thrones. And look at the conversion. Baby Cake's all about business. Yeah, the thing is, Occupy Thrones, they try to attack Bray, but Bray is barely feeling it. That's the jungler. And if, if they can't take down Bray, if they can't take down Diablo, Lulzy is not looking good. Because again, their main win condition is the damage on Gado, on Fury, but they're not being able to dish out oh. damage. Oh, it's being contested and Bray will be picking it up, but actually Maro won't be able to deal enough damage. Diablo just taking it everything in the front. Heavy spin being used to take him back all the way to the back. Occupy Thrones finally secure a kill, but that is so much time. Straight up, they changed Diablo's zip code, bro, from Singapore to Jakarta. You see how far he went? All the way to the second turret. That is insane, but actually, they're not just over yet. Bray will be jumped on and Occupy Thrones finally find some measure of success, but if they take that long to take out the oh, tank, yeah. that's going to be a very difficult situation. I feel like this is something that we can touch on a little bit more in the uh, post-game analysis because I want to look at the itemization because oh, yeah. if you want to play it for the early game, you have a different itemization. If you want to skill, it's a different kind of itemization. For now, Occupy Thrones, they're really trying to skill. And I think RSG, they, they, they realize like, your items is not good for this stage of the game. I'm going to punish this. We're going to go to your lane yep. and you try to kill Bray. You try to kill Diablo. Diablo went in. Every single member of Occupy Thrones plus the turret was necessary to take him down. Oh, can they take down Lozzy? Maro going in with that rough waves as well, but look at the damage. It's so negligible at this point. And just like that, the aggression has been stopped. I'm waiting on Fury. There's a lot of promise in the way Fury's throwing those beams. I, th I think there's something here. 
I kind of feel like right now it's just the difference of, of, of gold because right now it's 4,000 gold and 4,000 gold roughly translates to like one and a half items. So if he's one and a half item behind, it's not looking good. Ooh. At this point, they got to wait to level 15 with like three core items and then they can really dish out the damage because right now, if they try to fight this Lord, I think it, there is a possibility of getting a wipeout. For sure, if they engage poorly here, the big AOE composition will be dangerous, but Breath of the Ocean being used only lands on Diablo, not the intended target, and Leo now will be the one caught out. Luminum does not land though, unfortunately for Wolsey, as in the back oh. line, Bible Hulk actually jumps in and tries to deal with three members at the same time, but it's just so sporadic all over the place, as Marrow is so far the only casualty, and RSG oh. will be able to take the Lord, but at the cost of 505. Gado though, only alone, trying to make the best of the situation, he is taken out though. There's a lot of good concepts that OT, Occupy Throws, are putting on the table, but it looks like they just can't find the timing and the execution to make it all work together. Well, right now, at 10 minutes, Fury 77 just finished his Lightning Truncheon. And for all, all of you mages, you guys realize when you have the Clock of Destiny and the Lightning Truncheon, that's a big damage fight. But this is 10 minutes, so that's why during the Lord fight, they tried, but it looked like it wasn't enough. There's Both those items got buffed recently. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So but, 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 you know, it's, like, it's like bad just now, but it's getting better now. Yep. It's getting much better so, because that's the only advantage they have right now. That range, the snipe and the dawning light as well, that is what they can use to try and get an advantage before the fight begins unless RSG are the ones engaging and going aggressively to the front. Yeah, it, it's come to the point where RSG are so confident that they're starting to take jungle. They're going to choke out Leo, choke out Gado. Oh, that's oh, a of the ocean, but the roughest will come out. That is Maro taken out. What a disaster. Now at a 4 situation, they have to defend against the Lord. And this is a base Lord, right? Number one uh, Lord, they got it, what, about a minute and a half ago? I'm expecting at least one inhibitor. Ooh, Leo already pushing forward, trying to zone away, try and buy some time for the rest of the members to try and clear. It won't be enough, though. The tower gets taken out, and just like that, RSG, they know their limits, they exert patience yet again, and it's as calculated as planned for them. Honestly, with just an elemental lord, you already knocked down one of the inhibitors. That is actually quite a big deal. Yeah. RG right now, 8,000 gold ahead, and Baby Cakes just finished his uh, win of nature, making it so that he can actually take some kind of engages from, from, from Gado as well as Hulk. But and survive. And survive. I, I think it, it's a lot to say that, yeah, base lord, and then you get an inhibitor, they actually also pop the shields on mid and bot. Oh my, I didn't even realize yeah, that. So, so the next waves that come in are threats to Occupy Thrones. That's a dangerous situation for sure. And now they have no control in their jungle because Diablo, he can do whatever he wants. He is somewhat untouchable in the front because Gado, he went yeah. for the corrosion yeah. scythe. It's not yeah. exactly the ideal item, but Hawk now is the one being jumped on. Yeah, single can't do anything. Sigma male Singaporean mindset. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's right there. I just go around. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, uh, looking at advance just now, they're, they're excited because, yeah, RSG is looking very, very good. Uh, whereas uh, Occupy Thrones, this is starting to get towards their comfort zone because, like you said, they could do something at 17, 18 minutes. It's reaching there. Once it happens, there is a possibility of getting this game back in their own way. But right now, we have to be glass half full kind of people. Because mm -hmm. the early game into the mid game, 10 and 4, 8k ahead, are not ideal for this lineup. And you think about it, Occupy Thrones have a Kadita as well. And if the Kadita isn't doing well, that threat is just so far diminished. No one from RSG is that scared of this Kadita pickup potential. Yeah, in simple terms, the CC isn't matching the amount of damage that's being dealt. So exactly. they have to. They have to reconcile that. So right now, RG, with a very, very good advantage, they really should force out this Lord. If Occupy wants to fight for it, great, amazing. Because Baby Kiss, especially with the Wind of Nature, he could just go in, try to catch Gado as well as Fury 77, because once they're gone, they legit don't have the care. They can force it force it out. And it looks like Occupy Thrones, they understand this. They let this go, and only Gado is down in the bottom side of the map trying to get any kind of farm that he can. That was their first turn, by the way. That's that the first for everything, you know, so that's, yeah. yeah, meaningful, yeah. It, it's a 14-minute turret, so Occupy Throne is not having a good time, and RSG, they are not showing any chances of allowing, allowing them an easier game, but Razor goes for a bit of a play. Ooh. Unfortunately, Hulk is just denied at every single turn. All right, LaFell, you're looking for the items. Yeah, I'm looking at the items, and I want to talk a lot about Beatrix after the game, because even though the new patch uh, has happened, Corrosion Scythe, Big Buff, Gold, uh, Golden Staff, Big Buff as well, but... 
Beatrix base, uh, the way that, that she works is basically every single attack any weapon scales with her with her total physical attack. Yep. And unfortunately, mm. the build she builds right now doesn't have a lot of physical attacks, so the damage is less. Oh! oh. Yo, in the front alone, with the heavy spin, actually able to escape. But look at there. Baby Case going in the back line, zoning everyone away from the Lord, from the turrets as well. Just like that, with one single ultimate, Occupy Thrones are pushed back away, but RSG are not done just yet. But the Way of the Dragon is being used. That might be the first pickoff. Oh. That is a shutdown picked up by Marrow. Both of us picked up by Gado in the midst of that fight. All right, you know what? Glass half full moment. Yeah. That was a good defense by Occupy Thrones. They baited out those ults from RSG. Hey, sometimes we got to trust our own instincts, man. Like, it could happen because, oh. again, world championship right now because now Occupy Thrones, they're starting to scale up. Although, I got to be critical in saying it was more of RSG kind of over committing Correct. rather than, than Occupy Thrones really catching their mistakes. Yeah, are they looking for a concealed play? What is this? Ooh, Hulk just comes in and says hi to Lozzy here. Hi. Oh, baby case interrupts it. The stun is being used as well. Hulk gets chunked very low. RSG with baby. no no pleasantries in the land of dawn. Lozzy uh -huh. said hi, and baby case like high five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to your face. To your face. To with guns. Face. With a chair. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Dexter. Well, that was a shutdown picked up by Occupy Thrones earlier, so this might be just the breath of fresh air they yeah. need to try and yeah. mount a comeback. It helps Fury and Gardo catch up. I guess that's what explains them for being in at least the upper half of the player gold stats. Yeah, right now, like, a lot of things that I'm watching here, like, just now, Gardo is, like, number five in terms of the amount of gold that he is able to collect, which is not what you want to see from your gold leader. You want to see at least, at least, like, top three, right? Yeah. And then, and then look at this. Oh. Even the damage dealt. Fury's doing good. Fury's exactly. doing good. Exactly. So now he's scaling up. Exactly. Now he's looking like, okay, there's hope. There is yes. hope. The hope of mana, that's fury. Oh, but Bray though, no hope oh, wait, available. Wait. 1v4 in the jungle of Occupy Thrones. And now, RSG try and trade back. Leo though is still alive. And the, oh, the Breath of the Ocean being used. Two people getting knocked up. But now it's just sporadic. Oh. Diablo is still alive in the front lane. 505 with the Road of the trying to just trade back that damage. And Gado will fall as a result. Baby Case chasing something else. But that is a one for one after such a long turn. That is a jungle for the gold lane, though. Okay, so RG now they gotta slow down because they've made some mistakes there. Yep. Baby Cakes honestly was was playing very, very well. He kited a lot of the damage coming in from Occupy, but Break go, coming in alone, like maybe that's not the best idea you wanna do, especially in the late game, because you gotta put into consideration that once you get to the late game, it takes more time for you to respond back into the line of dawn. Looking at the replay right here, I want everyone to look where Baby Cakes he tried to dish out the damage with his ult, but instantly got knocked up. Hulk, in my opinion, he shouldn't be that far ahead alone because even if he does get in range he's able to get the way of the dragon it doesn't put them in a position oh. where they can they can really take anything they're going again they're still going and maro now is the one trying to initiate the play uh. breath of the ocean but the, the, the rough waves won't be enough Wolsey we'll is still barely alive one hp and leo will be the victim and occupy thrones they lose one for nothing and that's clean again rsg they got the what, last two major plays and major blunders that they had? And they made up for it. Redemption, almost instantly. Yeah, right now, looking at the lore, this is a Luminous lore, so it's going to hit a little bit harder. Yep. Uh, coming up in the top side of the map, so RSGSG, they got to manage their ways very, very well. They got to make sure all three lanes are crashing at the same time. Right, mm -hmm. right now, it kind of looks like they're a little bit behind because Lord is already pushing, so they got to gotta, gotta push rush it a little it. bit for, for the bottom side of the map. Yep, got to rush it. Uh, and... Just to say, they could have done better if yeah. they waited like maybe 10, 15 more seconds. This would have been an evolved Lord with the static just going around, makes an easier wipe. And look, God is going to defend. Occupy Thrones still in this. We just to take out the Lord, but the empowered waves are still coming in as Baby Case will be able to secure the bottom side base tower. They are going in for the engage on tomorrow, of all people. Engage on the engage tool, oh. and it works. Leo has used the heavy spin right now, and RSG, they have all the tools available, all the ultimates still ready for the, this next tower take. This is what Akai is so annoying. This is why Akai is so annoying because it looks like RSG, they really want to go. They really want to end this right here, right now. But every single time Diablo or Bray tries to engage something, Akai is just going to push them away. Either push them away or push them towards his own base. Yep. So right now, RSG, they really want to make sure Lozi catches this. Oh, Numenum Blast with the flicker being used by Lozi. And Leo, despite his best efforts, will be pushed away. Baby King taking very low, though, shot down by Gato. 
And now Leo is able to survive from that very aggressive play. It's a one for zero yet again for Occupy Thrones. Leo was on a tightrope. He was on the edge there. Could have sworn he was going to die, especially since he doesn't have the ult. Now he just got it. I was going to say, depending on how Ooh. much CDR he has, it wow, could make a in. difference. Bray! Leo with the heavy spin will catch Bray out. That's the Immortal being popped Skadoosh. for nothing. That is unfortunate. And now with a 50 second death timer, Occupy Thrones have a window. Dude, I gotta say, man, like our, our 18, 19 minute timers, like we know what we're talking we came about. From the future. <laughs> and right now, Occupy Thrones, they have the items that they need. Oh, They're oh, forcing no. it down mid. Hulk went back, trying to make sure that no backdoor shenanigans will happen with the minions. So right now, RSG, they gotta make sure that Leo is taken care of because Akai. Whenever he's so strong, gets banned. Now, not banned, getting picked less and less. But remind us again why it's so annoying. Even when you're losing, you can win. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, I'd say, one of those absolutes in the world of Mobile Legends. If you don't have the Purify, that heavy spin is going to make all the difference. Or flicker, honestly, because you can still flicker out even if he pins you down. But the timing is key. Speaking of timing, the Lord is here. If RSG can secure the Lord and this time make sure that all three lanes crashes at the same time, it's good. But it looks like Occupy, they're starting to fight. Oh, yo, yo, yo. RSG, this is this is a clean go. Oh, look at what Gargo. Gargo. He's so far in front, but it actually isn't going to be working out for them. Maro gets taken out as well. That is two of the main carries taken out. RSG, Singapore, out of nowhere, just getting such a good advantage. Occupy Thrones caught off position. Why was Gado there, man? I, I know. Mean, I mean, like, it's okay if he's there. If, if you got positions on the map to make sure that he sees what's coming, but it, 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 it did not happen. Not just why was Gado there, but I, I think it was all RSG because Occupy Thrones, they had Hulk all the way up in the base. It was a 4v5 to begin with. They just steamrolled right over him. And that is just unfortunate. They need to play the front to back a lot more neatly, especially because Fury and Gado, they are relied on to provide the DPS because without them, Diablo and Bry can just do whatever they want. Right now, looking at, because this oh, is an evolved lore, it no. looks like RG, they're not trying to crash all three lanes together. They're just gonna move with the lore, get the buff, and try to end it now. Diablo engages. He gets a big taunt onto two members, but he is forced with the heavy spin, but he actually goes with the, with the truncheon. And now it's chaos in front of the base of Occupy Thrones. It seems that RSG is going for the fight first, not straight for the base. It's very, very close though, and Occupy Thrones actually are starting to pick up some kills, but unfortunately, that will be the base taken out by RSG. The inevitable victory that RSG has been working towards in the past 20 minutes have come to fruition. Match one goes over to RSG SG. Now in this game, usually my post-game analysis, I will talk about the draft, but for this game, I'm actually going to talk about the items more. Again, congratulations RSG SG for winning the first match and Occupy Throats really push RSG, making it so that you're not going to stump us. We're going we're gonna to push it all the way to 21.